Hey everyone, March is in the books. So doing our normal end of month update and want to give you a quick update just on the overall performance for the quarter. January 1st through the end of March, uh, total profits six, uh, a little over 63,000 with a win rate across the board on all strategies of about 64 and a half percent, 404 total trades, profit factor 1.41. So not too shabby. Uh, having said that, let's just let's dive into March. So for the month of March, uh, March was actually one of our worst months that we've had in quite some time. I'd have to go back and and look. I can't remember off the top of my head, but total profit for the month of March just forty, uh, a little over forty five hundred. And actually, if we throw in, um, so Dr. Chad does our live streaming for day trading. Oops. And, uh, and he did another about 4,000 bucks for our mighty 90 and runner strategies. So total, uh, you know, about 8,500 between the two, but, uh, as far as our normal months go, that's, that's down quite a bit. But if history tells us anything next month in April, we should have a monster month because that's just how it typically works when you're trading probabilities. All right, so so that's just a, a an overall. Let's jump into each strategy for the month of March and see what happened. So on the zero DTE, zero DTE is becoming a bigger and bigger part of my trading. So let's take a look and break these down by the different strategies to start with. Starting with the power hour strategy, so the strategy that we use in the last hour of the day. Let me refresh this. Sometimes you got to refresh it. Uh, yeah, $5,300 for all of our power hour trades. You can see we had one day that was a loser of 2,200, but some other nice winner winning days, 1,500, almost 1,000, 2,300 and so forth. So not too shabby. And, and if you haven't seen, uh, in the community, if you're a member, um, I'm doing a new power hour strategy that I did all of last week, and I'm going to be doing it exactly the same every single day in April. So excited to see the results from that uh, as we as we progress. So on the morning session for zero DTE, it was it was not great. So um, yeah, plus 628 uh, for morning iron condors. So I uh, had some decent losses where we, you know, this was a, this was one where I made a mistake, didn't get in at the right time, had a couple other sessions where we hit stop losses without hitting any profit targets, which is not typical. So overall, just a very, very mediocre uh, month for me on the morning iron condors. I know some of the folks in our community did really well, but for me, just not so good. On the, I uh, didn't do any ratios on uh, re-entry. So this is something I just started doing really in the middle of the month. And the, so these are just kind of midday after the morning session's over. Let me refresh to make sure that's correct. Uh, so really just starting mid-month, as you can see around March 14th, started off a little slow with some losses and then kind of got in the groove of the way I wanted to manage these things and had some really nice profits. So total profit on the re-entries of a little over $7,700. So I'm going to be focusing a lot more on those in April as well. Uh, and then where this is what really killed me for the month is my reverse iron condor strategy, which has traditionally been pretty profitable, hitting at about an 85% clip. Only 28, 28.5% of the uh, trades were winners this month and took some max losses and some big losers. So one thing I'm going to do is I, I still like the strategy, even though it was a, a bad month, but I, I was just, I'm really trading it too big, you know, and, and not that it's outside the realm of my risk tolerance, but it's, it's more just compared to a lot of the other positions the amount of risk that that's in place on these is just it, it, it's just more than I want. So I'm going to be scaling down my position on those, uh, but I will still continue to do them. And hopefully that bounces back. And then so that's it for zero DTE for dynamic butterflies had a couple wins, uh, about a fifteen hundred dollar win on SPX and a three hundred dollar win on RUT. And we've got a few of those open that will be closing in April. On our dynamic calendars, nice month on calendars. 
Let me get all these checked. For our dynamic calendar strategies, a little over 8,000 for the month. I uh, did have one big loser for 5,600, but also had a couple nice winners. Here's a $3,000 winner, $2,000 winner, almost 1,000, a $4,000 winner, 1,300, 1,200, a couple losers, nice winner. So overall, nice month plus 8,000 on our dynamic calendars. For NTT, oh wait, first, Iron Ducks. Had some nice winners on Iron Ducks, a couple losers, but a basket of winners as well. About $1,300 positive on all of our closed ducks for the month. NTT, our navigation trend trading. Give it a quick refresh. So for all of our closed trades, uh, down about 3,700. Now I do have a bunch of open trades that I have partially closed. So I, so as far as those closed profits, for example, let me just uh, show open trades as well. Yeah, so about a fifteen about fifteen hundred dollars worth of uh, trades where they're, the positions are still open, but I've booked some nice profits. So those are closed profits. Uh, so about minus fourteen hundred on the month. So not great. I mean, we just we continue to see these swings back and forth, back and forth, no real trend. So whenever you see that with trend trading like NTT is, you're going to see some choppy P&L because the markets are choppy. Once the markets start trending, you're going to see some significant profits come into that strategy. So continuing to manage through the chop until things can kind of find a direction. And then lastly, our options selling and hedgehogs. So in the options selling stuff, uh, and actually let's, uh, so about 2,800. Um, had some nice winners on short strangles. Uh, did have a big loss on a reverse hedgehog in gold. Kind of got us whipsawed. Uh, but overall, decent, decent month. So that's it. If, if you're interested in following along, just go to navigationtrading.com. You can click on the pricing button here at the top. We've got several membership options. One, for, if you're a beginner, we do have a free membership where you can learn five of our core strategies and uh, learn about options basics if you're not familiar with options. Uh, for the pro membership, you get access to 17 of our advanced strategies, including real-time alerts on all the trading strategies that I just showed you, including live video streams for the day trading, or if you're interested in just focusing on one strategy at a time, we have a dynamic calendars membership, one that just focuses on butterflies, one that just focuses on the trend trading. Uh, if you just want to focus on day trading, which includes the zero DTE as well as the mighty 90 and runners, we've got a day trading membership. If you just want to do iron ducks, or if you just want to do option selling, which includes our VIX trades, iron condors, short strangles, hedgehogs, you can pick and choose that way. But all of these are included in the pro membership. So if you want access to everything, uh, you can just do the pro membership for one low price and be on your way. So I hope that helps. Look forward to an amazing month in April and look forward to seeing you on the inside.